all right so you're 15 years old or you just started drop shipping and you love the apparel you've been seeing on instagram or maybe you've been to one of these stores you know these stores that just pop up and people are selling sneakers um they're selling these these bucket heads used to be very huge uh they used to go for a thousand rand you see a thousand rand you don't know where these people got these things from right but you you also bought it or your friends had it and uh, you couldn't see if it's original or not you know you don't know if it's the original thing but a lot of people are buying it everyone had it um these louis vuitton glasses i know they are everywhere right now well not everywhere but the louis vuitton glasses i think it's about 20k at louis vuitton but you see them on these sites and they are you know a thousand one hundred uh 100 rand let's go sneakers so also with sneakers right dr martin's 2.8 uh 1.5 what if what if i really told you that um all these sneakers right this one is very famous i know this sneaker everyone is either has it um it's it's everywhere i can i can literally spot the fake because i'm i'm a huge fanatic when it comes to to, to to sneak out apparel but you know it's very hard to spot it when someone wears it but they're selling it for 1.7 um online and uh, these sneakers over here i mean if you know you know that you'll never get an off-white uh you are never going to get an off-white uh converse for uh 2000 rand you know but um let's see it's add to cart okay so but these sneakers People have been selling it, and if you're 15 or you're just starting with drop shipping and you're starting with, you know, uh, selling online, or you just want to sell, you just want to sell on Instagram, or you want to sell to your friends, I am going to set up a store on a place called Edward. I get it wrong. I think it's Edward or Equid <laughs> between those, right? I'm going to help you how to set set up a store for free, right? For free, but. I am going to tell you the cons. I am going to tell you how to set up. Uh, remember when I started with this site, I sold about 7K, uh, 7K to 8K on this site when I was first starting out. Of course, I upgraded and I went to Shopify. This one is when you are now you, you're ranking, you know what you're doing, you understand analytics, you understand how to market your stuff. Now you are a real drop shipper. I wouldn't suggest you use Shopify. If you don't understand dropshipping, I've been getting a lot of inboxes of people asking me, where can I get these sneakers? Where can I get these things? And I would say with clothing as well, um, you know, when, when it comes to this is very, it's in the streets, they're selling it for 600 bucks. What if, what if I tell you that I can get the same t-shirt with the same quality, if not better quality for less than 600 bucks, you can actually buy this right i'll tell you the supplier i'll tell you where to get it and with the store that i'm going to build right now you can actually drop ship from the store because me and my team are going to take care of all the orders right but if you are in job work or you're in Gauteng and you don't mind going to these places which is dingy and dark and i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't recommend anyone to you know um, go there unless if you're really street wise and street smart uh, but you can get this t-shirt for less than uh, 350 and mark it up or 300 rand mark it up with another 300 rand and sell it for 600 bucks so i'm gonna get into it right now uh straight after this when the lights come on and they stop recording and the whole world now wants to hear your story hey. about to that car announcement gang gang fam i know i haven't been around for a very long time um there's a reason for that there's a documentary that i'm busy shooting it's taking longer than i thought and i'm seeing that i'm not taking out content and people have been inboxing me asking me where i am what's going on and i feel like that documentary is going to take more months so i am going to come in here and i'm still going to drop content but you're not i'm going to be the banaclava 
you're not gonna see my face until I drop it it's gonna do two things for you it's gonna blow your mind and it's gonna save you from a lot of things that are happening in the e-commerce world that is very dark and tingy but I'm not gonna say what it is for now for now I'm just gonna teach you uh, without my face being shown on this platform right so let's get into it because um, that was the announcement quick fast if you just want to get to starting up the store and everything else time descriptions on the bottom I hope I will get that done if not do forgive me but time descriptions are over there right so like I said you're 15 or you just started drop shipping or e-commerce and you just want to start selling um, and you want to do a store like this this has been done on Shopify I can I can I know I can partly know who this belongs to or one of his students because of a rookie move that's been done over here uh, powered by Shopify so this right here already shows me this is a drop shipper that owns this store um, I don't know who it is but it's a drop shipper who owns the store and I, I am going to tell you where to get most of these 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 Yeezys Yeezys can never go for 1.7 so most of these things are replicas right they're not they're not the real thing but you really can't tell because most of the places where everyone stocks whether it's Instagram boutiques whether it's drop shipping or these stores that are in town that are selling um, these hoodies <clears throat> for 7.99 they stock at the same place don't let them there's no Dubai or America or don't let them BS you they stock at the same place right they, they all go to Joburg there's a dingy place there or uh, I might put a description of when it comes to sneakers there's a cool youtuber that tells you about Marawastat that tells you about the inner of Joburg where to stock these things I might also do a vlog on I'm going to have a members only platform on YouTube because I, I seriously I can't um, what's this manage all these sites and courses and all these things so i'm gonna have everything on youtube if i change my mind and i have a nice site i'll tell you about it anyway let's get into it so these dr martins i can tell you this is a thousand rand you can find them not even a thousand rand you can find them for like 700 rand or you can find them for um you can find these replicas now listen listen what a replica is is basically it's the same thing it's just that it's it it's not your New Balance straight from wherever New Balance comes from, um, but it's a replica. And immediately when I see a sneaker that I know, because I'm a sneaker fan, like I told you, if it's less than the price that I know it's going for, I know it's a replica, and I'm cool with it. Like these Casio watches, I can tell you for sure if you're 15 in high school or you're starting with drop shipping, these are still flying, right? Selling them for 700 rand. You can easily get these for about 300 or 400 rand, right? So what are we gonna do now? I'm going to help you set up the store step by step. Follow this, and you will have a store for less than what Shopify actually charges you. Shopify, it's 500 bucks, and I understand a lot of people don't have the money unless if you are now a drop shipper. And you've been doing this for months and months and you've done your research and you have started in a platform that is small like this one right um so i'm gonna no shopify this is where we're going to start on the link below please go on the description below we're gonna start this with you and i step by step and um i'm just gonna explain how it works right so the free plan you can have 10 products only 10 products you can have i <sighs> I wouldn't suggest you have 10 products on your site because it already screams um, it already screams uh, I don't know man rookie it already screams rookie but just start it out test it I think start this out set up your payment gate find some of your friends just to shop on it but this is if you want a domain name right so you want uh, a domain saying sneakers pusher sneakers or whatever your store is going to be then you'll need to upgrade to um, 200 rand it's 15 dollars is basically 200 this is the best way to start if you're a beginner if you're still young and you want to get into drop shipping right on the link below on the description please use the link it does help me I'm going to be straightforward with you guys I do get a bit of commission and you lose nothing by using that link please use the link it does motivate me to do <laughs> a little bit more right all right let's get into it so what you're going to do after using the link you're gonna land over here 
you're gonna click this button over here and it's going to say start for free right when it says start for free you can build everything for free you don't have to put in your credit card you can just read up about it this gentleman always pops up and um, yeah not showing out other my personal stuff here oh my god now you've got my actual email <laughs> that I'm going to uh, I need to set it off anyway okay cool but what you have to start with is creating your um, your Gmail account right create a separate Gmail account so you can get all those spams and all those things from Edward and all your customers or just set up a new one don't use your old one to be so 755 eight three five don't don't do that so this one we're gonna call it pusher supply yeah? because this site like I said if you're out of job work uh, if you're out of job work and you can't get to these places you can drop ship from here me and my team will take care so you basically you will order um, you will order on site hold on right you order on site on, on on this site and then we will deliver straight to your customers I hope I got that right yeah okay so you will order straight uh, into that and then just put in your details I'm gonna put in my details obviously I'm gonna hide some stuff so he says push our supply at uh, gmail.com and we're gonna get back to basically putting that in it should be in by now should work Mm hmm nope okay so full name is basically your name uh, let's say pusher cool and then let's put in the email address and then now we're gonna start the store right I'm cool with that I use the same password for any for anything so if someone had to hack me I am yeah so it's gonna come right here right um, so that's why I say start an email from scratch um, do it best as you can do not use your own Gmail account open a new one I am going to show you step by step how to do this it's going to be a long video so do me a favor what you can do is play this video on your phone and go step by step with me through this so I'm gonna help you set it up I'm gonna help you get payment gateways people can pay you online or you can do cash on delivery if you are just starting out you know um, you can do cash on delivery so you can del you can order from this site that I'm going to build right now and then after you um, when the customer pays you for that item that you saw on this site that we're going to build then you can just order from us and then pay it keep your commission and then order from us and we will deliver straight to the customer but like I said if you are in Joburg I am going to show you where to get this thing so it starts with the online store right the online store name what do you want your name to be right so my name is going to be pusher uh, supply what 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 is happening oh my god my keyboard is acting up guys uh, yeah. what the hell okay my keyboard is acting up all right so what is your store name right so you're gonna go here you're gonna start off here you're gonna say uh, this one is pusher all right I can't no spaces no nothing so your 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 your, your store has to be one name maybe you're gonna call it um, apparel uh, streetwear what what I don't know what it is guys I don't want to upgrade to this I, I know it keeps on popping it's very irritating I will fix it in a moment excuse for that let's, let's let's continue with that right cool so South Africa South African rents don't change that and then just put in your city um, where basically uh, 
You can be anywhere right now. I'm just gonna say Juicy. Um, or we can just use this. All right. Do you already have an online store? Uh, no, you don't. Not yet. Are you selling products already? Uh, what type of products are you selling? So this one is a streetwear. We're gonna look for streetwear. Can you find apparel and streetwear accessories, right? Shoes, streetwear's accessory. Are you doing this for a client? Nope. Cool. Next, do you already have a website? Nope. Push a supply. So they already give you. Uh, one thing I like about this, it's got. It doesn't say Shopify. It might say it's gonna say company site. So you can use this just to test it out for some few days or whatever, just to test out how it works. So mine is gonna be push a supply um, site, right? Company site. Then I just finish it up. Right, when we get here, now we are getting into where the work is, right? Um, now we're getting into where the work is and where we are going to build our store. This is what we call the back end of the store. I've had this video, if you check and click up, I've done a step-by-step -step guide, but now I'm doing it very thoroughly because you're gonna see me build the store very slowly and I'm hoping that um, this will be the best that <laughs> the best that could that could actually help you right so uh, I'm gonna hide all these tips but you can go through these tips right basically tells you add your store social media don't do all of this because we're gonna go through it so I'm just gonna hide this for now right so with starting out what I said like this is your back end and this is how your store basically looks like if you click here it's gonna take you to your store of how your store is lo looks like so we just want to get to a, a point where it's very, it's apparel it's very simple it's very simple this is what we call the front end of your store how your store will pop out so if you say push a supply um, my bad I was supposed to click here push a supply this is how my store is right this is how my store is I must add my store site name push a supply and then my products are gonna be here and it's already done for me all I have to do is just bad basically make it my own and edit it the way I feel fit right the way I feel my store should be so what we're going to do firstly what we're gonna start with is <clears throat> okay let me explain the buttons for you this is the back end of your store of course this is where your sales are going to be when you start getting sales you're gonna get a bought uh, a, like people who didn't buy and then your customers and your orders right and then here is basically your collage we'll get into that a little bit later and then with marketing tools we'll get into that a little bit later this is gonna be a separate video because I feel like people don't understand the importance of marketing when it comes to this on social media if you're doing social media or you're not doing uh, online boutique this is very complex we'll get into it um, <laughs> With a different video now we're just setting up the store that's all we're doing we're setting up the store and i'm going to show you how to get these products how to put them in and everything else so you're going to go here to your overview when you go to your overview you're going to look at basically <clears throat> everything that you will possibly need to start your store but this this is not really that uh much important for now because um you have to understand how your store looks like and the feel of your store. So let's go to website and let's start designing our store. Okay, but if you want to um, make sure that your 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 store is not online, but you can go go to settings, go all the way down, and then just say close store for maintenance, right? So now only you can see it until you publish your store when your store is ready to go you can just um, open store front store so basically people won't see your store until you are done right all right let's go back to the editing now another thing if you don't want this push as apply to be on you can go to head um, your headline and then what you can do is show headliner and then you 
like it can just disappear and you can just put your store here um, push a supply store right so everything is there but you can just put it off so that nobody actually sees it all right let's go back now this cover this is not my store this is not how I like my store to be so you're gonna go straight to this picture and you're gonna change this picture to um, basically uh, I've made a folder for all my streetwear what I want to sell there's also charts there and everything so I'm gonna choose something that uh, my store is definitely gonna be about I like that already boom looks very nice just wait for it to load and over here is basically the information that you're going to put I like that yep that's exactly how I want my store to be and remember you can always go and check out how your store is doing uh, by viewing it of how you want to see how your store looks like oh I didn't save remember always to save and in this box right here um, what you can do is just write what your like business is about um, already made it so that we don't waste time with that so push a supply store is a drop shipping store for our apparel and streetwear we are hundred percent credible uh can we put this up Gangani? yep 100 percent credible um suppliers from the south of joburg would deliver straight to your customers let's take that up there i don't want to waste time so i type that real quick real fast to that let's save boom right order now it's going to take you straight that order now is fine right there remember we're trying to do this less than 45 minutes or less than that right so that's my cover and that's what I'm about to order now that is perfect so step by step now the store now the store this is how it looks now we're going to put in our uh, gang items we're gonna just put in our items we're gonna just it's very simple straight to the point you don't have to do much uh, it's not that complex so let's go back to uh, our back end store <clears throat> now we're going to put in the products remember the products are basically this right here let's go to push a store let's see how it looks uh, did we save okay let's refresh let's see how it's gonna come out if you refresh everything that you have changed you see boom push a store perfect all right I want to change this headline so let's go back to the editing quickly and look for the headline is the headline over here design background oh, okay cover there yep save boom I think that s I want it to be there guys I'm only doing the store uh, I'm going to make it a little bit nicer when time comes I'm just doing it because I want to show you how easy and simple it is I've changed the, the buy now button uh, if you want to add another button can add another button here let me just show you another button what you can do it could be a scroll down it could be um, on the page uh, whatever you want it to be right it could be an email where people can send you an email address then they're gonna ask you for an email address so someone when they hit this button you can just change it from order now to something else but I like it not email um, open page I'm happy with that cool so now we're going to add our products let's go back to the back end back end remember when I say back end basically how you can go back to your back end maybe you're here you don't understand how to go back to your um, back end page from 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 this side right here um, all right just keep this open just keep this open because I want to be faster than this so my my store is already closed you remember so no one can actually see the store until I open it if I go open then the store will go live right now what we want to do is actually add in our products when you go here to collage it's gonna say products when it goes straight to the products this is the products that are already set in for you right so with the products that are already set in we don't need all of this so we're going to go doom and then we're gonna go delete on all of them because we don't need any of them 
it's very very simple to add your product so when you come here you're gonna add a product and we're gonna add pictures now right so let's see what we want to sell let's say we want to sell these Louis Vuitton um, glasses right so we can come you can also come to the store I don't know whose store is this um, I think it's in accessories and what you can do is just copy and paste guys uh, the the game of the reason why people don't want to give you a store <coughs> their store names is because of this this copy and paste so I'm not gonna do that one on one I'm just gonna call it Louis Vuitton glasses go back there call it Louis Vuitton glasses and then there's no need for this there's no need for that to be honest and then um, go back they don't have a description of the Louis Vuitton glasses I think you should actually go let's go here this is how drop shippers do it let me show you Louis Vuitton glasses let's check the price just for interest sake just for interest sake so these are all the drop shipping stores see this this is a drop shipper a thousand rand this is not a drop shipper this is the real Louis Vuitton it's about four thousand uh, four thousand rand yeah the Louis Vuitton seven seven fifty also a drop shipper so immediately when you see this is a drop shipper so you can actually just go on the people side and just check out your competition check out what they are doing so that your store becomes this is a drop shipper I can see let's go down let's see if he's a rookie because rookies do rookie moves nope he took he didn't he took out that um, I'm gonna show you how to also have this to have this is gonna come a little bit later on when you are comfortable with uh, drop shipping this is for beginners this is just to get where you can get the suppliers put them on your store sell right but if you want to get to this level where now you are um, using Google <coughs> Google Ads to have your store you know running at night and you're making sales from this it's not also guaranteed but if you're good at it you can actually make uh, quite a lot but here's a description here so let's get into this one and all we're gonna do guys is copy and paste there's a nice description over there 101 uh, for there we go and you can also get product pictures from that uh, let's accept the cookies they're going to advertise to us this is another thing that you need to learn if if you want to be serious about this whole drop shipping thing um, about this whole drop shipping thing so what you can do is come here we are going to save this uh, let's go to um, streetwear okay so this this is a real site because immediately when you can't save it as a, G, uh, a JPEG as a picture uh, it means that they've locked they know that they are dropshippers that come through and they take their product pictures so they've locked their store which is the real Louis Vuitton this is real Louis Vuitton so Louis Vuitton we're gonna go there and just say Louis Vuitton and we're gonna come here and then we're going to boom that's our description that's basically what it is yes guys I'm gonna repeat myself this is a replica you'll never get a Louis Vuitton sunglasses for a thousand rand but our people can't afford it so <clears throat> if you wanna make um, money selling replicas that's basically how you do it let's make it a thousand rand right thousand rand pricing right very simple um we're not going to manage our stock for now this is done and then what we're going to do is we are going to go to categories because we need to categorize it before right and unfortunately you only allowed like two categories with the free theme so you can only have like clothing and sneakers but you can't have more than that right so this one we're going to call it accessories Uh, you can add a a page you can add some a picture for this I usually don't do that but yeah that's my categories with accessories then I'm gonna go there and open it up and then what I'm going to do is in my categories I am going to create a new product or I can just add the one that we just did leave page uh, back to category 
leave page back to category here we go and then there's one product add a product Louis Vuitton boom so we've added our categories the other thing I've noticed is that every time I go back to my store just to check it out but because my store is under lock down I can't see what's going on in my store so I'm going to just enable this because I want to see what I'm doing right so let's go back to website so I can just see what I'm doing because <clears throat> the trick is if you set it off even you can't see what you're doing because it's not live so I need to see exactly what I'm doing in my store uh, there we go accessories I don't enjoy this you know uh, with this picture over here I just like my products just showing right um, so I'm gonna change it a bit because when you go to accessories it does pop up um, and show your accessories but I don't actually like it like this I rather have it you know um, you know showing on the store itself so it's easier for a person to just get in and get out without um, you know going out of the store if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna go to back to categories and I am going to delete my categories yep I like that and I'm gonna go back to my store it's still there so I need to remove this but I like it like this so the more products I actually add, they are going to pop up on my store like that, you know, with accessories and everything else. But I don't want this here. It doesn't look nice. It must make your store look very nice. Going back to it, let's see how it looks now brilliant now all I'm going to do because this is gonna take time I'm just gonna add in products and then I'll get back to you guys immediately when my store is because I don't want this video to be long Immediately when my stores get all the products I'm going to add all this the the, um, the store things let's just go back and recap right so you're gonna go to products you're gonna add in your products you're gonna add in the description of your products whatever you are selling uh, if it's sneakers um, with everything that you you know with options of the sneakers uh, you know uh, what color it is and everything else I'm gonna come back here and explain it thorough because I know people get lost a lot here so you can just pass like you can just hold on and just go back or just basically just be patient with this whole thing but this is the easiest way it's less complex than Shopify than any other you know building uh building a store uh even with uh another uh, another platform called wimberly.com it is very easy but it keeps on freezing but this one i love it so much so i'm just going to add my products in and then i'll see you guys straight after this When adding products, always remember one thing. The only way that you're gonna win is that if you compare your stores with other people's stores. So if you go into a store that you think that's your competition or it's a store that you think is it's got great quality pictures, you're allowed to nick those pictures if the place is not blocked, you know. Uh, but it must really look like whatever you're delivering to the customer, right? So we know most of the guys that are drop shipping. They're getting their supplies where we're getting their supplies so they generally look like whatever we're going to be supplying the customer the second thing is that when you're looking at the description and looking at the pictures of uh, maybe a casual watch that looks like this and you're adding it to some of your products that you're going to use always define yourself be different this one is a winning product I'll tell you why the reason why it's a winning product is because it's a touch casual 
people are into the touch ones the other ones are old that everybody has them so the touch one is a winning product so while you add it take the same description change it a bit you have to change it a bit because sometimes um, when you advertise Google doesn't like the copy and paste so change bits there add your feel on the product description right so with everything that you are actually looking for or um, an item you're looking for make sure it's an item that is a winning product don't try to change don't try to be different and sell something that you think will work or just go with the flow whatever the drop shippers when you go and on the sites whatever they're selling it means it's selling they've done the research use their research to sell the products there is no need for you now to go and test out products and see if they are winning if you know there's already winning product so go for whatever they're doing these watches the casual watches they never get out of fashion um, same as these chains they're in now I can see on Instagram every single person not person but every single cool kid has that um, you know that chain and always check out the prices check out if it's below like uh, if it's below like 299 it's always a wish so this store is not a this store basically it's not a South African store so you can see by all those things like um, the delivery the delivery methods that it's not a drip shipping store so all you can do is just get the picture from them use the same picture um, find out from us if we are your supplier or whoever your supplier is or if you're going there to Joburg look comparison to whatever you're putting on if it's it's if it's close to the same you can also also if you have the quality if you have the time and the money you can take your own product pictures and put them on your site but I don't recommend that the reason why I'll tell you is because you it does you, sometimes when you do a product your own product um, pictures they actually don't look as crisp as the ones on the internet so don't like I said don't try to be a genius in drop shipping drop shipping works because uh, people are selling things that people like like these hoodies they're in you know if you're if you're 15 or above or if you're part of if you love streetwear you know these are going so this is mainly what is going to work for you do your research as much as you can do not sleep on the research look at what other drop shippers are doing look at other uh, sites copy and paste change a bit there's no need for you to now uh, overwork there's no reason for you to spend hours and hours building your site a site is meant to be built for less than a day or two days because you're gonna frustrate yourself and you're gonna give up because now you're on a site and you don't know this and you don't know that so just pick the products put them in one folder come back here build the site get it over and done with uh, and then I like I said we are going to take a talk about how to set up for people if they buy for a thousand rand how to set up your pay fast way like uh, so pay fast is basically uh, a gateway what a gateway is is where people put their credit cards or they put their their details to get deducted and all of those things right so another thing you can use this site if people want to see your stuff but you're still doing uh, what's this delivery or, or cash on delivery and you don't want to send pictures and pictures people like show me this you can just send it to the site they can come back to you and say okay I want this that 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 but you can only add 10 products and do upgrade the reason why I say you must upgrade so you can use the .co.za and you can add more products and you can have this as a running store and you can still do cash on delivery as your e-commerce store I hope I'm making sense so these are the winning products that are working right now people love them a lot of kids are buying them male and female it's all over but there's a certain place where people buy it uh, I'm going to add uh, uh, one lady on YouTube who's actually who spoke about some of the places but there's other places where are dingy and dark and I wouldn't suggest if you're 15 or 16 please don't not I'm saying this now do not go there by yourself have a parent or a guardian who's going to go there with you please I don't want anyone uh, getting robbed or anything happening on my hands do not go by yourself all right 
so that is basically it do your research and then of course if you're 15 and 16 or under the age of 19 you can always just come to push our supply and we'll supply you with everything and you can just sell all right Lego. Cool. so now I've added all my products right all 10 remember if you don't upgrade you can only do 10 uh, because you are starting up it's fine the 10 is fine uh, but when you want to start selling like box now you're ready you have made your money you have a thousand rand to invest in your uh, marketing and things like that you can go and upgrade but See, I've added 10, so I, it doesn't, it limits me to 10. It's telling me to upgrade in order to uh, <clears throat> to get more products. Now, the other thing I needed to show you is that, let's say now you have a watch, right? You have this casual touch watch that you wanna sell, and on, on, <clears throat> on it, it's a uh, gold and silver, right? So you want to, you want people to be able to pick. Remember, if you wanna see your product, how it's doing, um, you can just go to preview product at preview product it's going to show you this drop down button right silver or gold so you want to add this on your description and everything else the easiest way to do this let's go back to our products and let's go to our hoodie right I'm gonna edit our hoodie and we want to we're gonna go to options at options you're gonna go add option you have a drop down button and you're gonna say color all right um, and then you're gonna say black leave the leave this it's fine and you're gonna say white right and then you're gonna save then you're gonna go to product view, review and then you have your black and white drop down button can I have a drop down button or a pickup it's up to you uh, uh, I, I prefer the drop down button but also that is also um, it's fine so you can have a radio button or you can have a drop down button it's up to you let's go drop down let's see how it looks there's a drop down black or white so I think because you want people to see the option always use the radio button now I'm gonna go to my store and we're gonna go and see how it looks like with everything and I'm just gonna take you through I've changed some couple of things on my store but I don't want you to get lost of setting this up so let's let's go to uh, overview overview is where our store is website my bad a banner all right cool so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on this button we want to see how our website is doing right uh, that is editor my bad Mm, the pusher uh, remember if you want to change this to uh, pusher uh, supplier.zero.za you need to get a domain name there's something we'll get into but this is for beginners you can still use site company it's fine it's not like Shopify dot Shopify or Edward or whatever it's nice to have a it's it does look some kind of professional but please if you get the money do upgrade it will help you a lot it will look more professional so this is how the store looks like I've added all of this like I explained later I I really don't like selling sneakers why replica sneakers because I'm a big sneaker fan so if someone is expecting a Nike um, an Air Force Nike or a Nike Jordan and then they get a replica and they can see it's a replica uh, then the customer is gonna want the refund or whatever but I feel like if anyone is buying this Jordan for 1.2, they should be expecting to get a replica, you know, or 800 Rand or 600 Rand. You're expecting to get a replica. 
I don't know what else are you expecting to get a, an original for 800 bucks. Um, you can make it clear to our customers. Sometimes the price just tells you what I got in. So it's got a lot of board. Anyway, um, all right. So <clears throat> I don't like selling sneakers, but this will be available. If you want sneakers from the vlog that I'm going to shoot, also I am going to plug in a sister that's doing really good with plugging people in with um, clothes from Marawastat and Small Street and all those places. I'm gonna put a link somewhere there. Please go check her out. She does show you how to get to the certain places where you can get sneakers and all these things. Really good, um, really good on that. But I'm also, I have my own suppliers that I actually use. Their replica looks so original, it's crazy. But I, 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 am, I run away from this. I rather, to be honest, I rather stay on um you know apparels i rather really really stay on you know apparels uh, um like things like this like this one is a replica but who can tell you know like uh it's all over Joburg. it's all over um uh the streets of Joburg. but a very few people are wearing this in the world and the people that are doing it i can't i can't tell the difference between a real one or not and for 700 bucks Obviously, I'm gonna come back to this. I am not going to resell this for 700 rand. I am going to sell it for the retail price, adding a hundred rand markup on whatever because of our guests going there and stocking up for you guys, right? So let when you do come back to the site again, which I'm gonna make it a little bit nicer and put in a lot of other things, more information of basically how how many sizes are in here and how many of of this that we have uh and casual watches they're really cool ones now that come in camouflages they are going to go in the streets they're going to be big this is going to be big to sell if you're just just starting out or you're starting out with e-commerce you're just starting out to sell casual art watches you can't go wrong you can't go wrong especially with these chains i've seen these all these rappers uh sa rappers wearing them trust me uh there's very few that actually wear the real gold and silver that costs twenty thousand thirty thousand i am not gonna i have one of this I'll, I'll put a photo right here i have one of this i got this for like uh 450 and um selling it for like 700 rand guys it, it looks just like this there's no difference no one is gonna tell me i'm not wearing a twenty thousand rand uh necklace because you feel like it so yeah i'm gonna add more products now um always always add let's go back to um designing our store right let's go back to designing our store let me show you how i put this this is very important when you have a store this your store must always have free shipping put the shipping shipping and uh, what's the delivery that's how you capture this is my one thing that's how you get people to buy from you if you say free delivery and you just add the delivery to the product you just add it maybe the product is 400 rand add another 100 rand so it's 500 rand done right because people like to hear free shipping if you can't afford the free shipping just add it there that's that's most e-commerce people do it the big companies have been doing it for years but spot scene and all of those guys they've been doing it for years right so i want to take this out because i don't want to do about us and all of that you know exactly who i am you, it's easy to find me and then uh, contact details we'll have the contact details of when do we deliver and all of these things uh and if you just want to come to the e-commerce store and buy it yourself and sell it Kogasi, it's fine you can just purchase from this store and then we'll deliver it to you and you'll sort it out. But if you want to start a drop shipping store and your customers, after they buy from your store, you can come back here. We won't make these Louis Vuitton things a thousand rand. That's impossible. When you do come back here, probably it'll be about three or four thousand. Four thousand. It'll be about uh, 400, 500 rand. And then you can put in your markup. I don't know what the markup is going to be. We have to check the prices with the resellers and add our markup, which will be just a hundred rand, nothing more just for our guesses and obviously with the orders and just making sure that the office does run with people taking out the orders in box right if we buy in box we get a cheaper price that's basically it i tried to do this on whatsapp it didn't work out because 
everybody was starting to ask how do you drop ship how you do this so i had to shut down that's why the whatsapp group was shut down is because it it, it just became it uh, it was uncontrollable it wasn't people that were looking for suppliers it was people that were still learning so this video will help you right all right let's go in uh <clears throat> so i suggest if you can if you want sneakers we can still get you sneakers it's fine let us know what sneakers you want sizes and things like that but i don't think i'll have any sneakers on this site but you can always email us and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you but i will have like clothing and these type of beanies and of course these are also uh, hot right now i'm telling you the hot things that are right now these are hot that's hot everything i put in here is very hot we're gonna have obviously we're gonna upgrade the store uh we're gonna have 40 or 50 more products that we are going to uh drop ship from this specific site so it's pusha it will change to pusha supply dot zero zero uh but we're going to keep it at company the link will be below if you're trying to get a supplier will be your supplier you know me personally <coughs> You won't get scammed uh but like i said on the site itself there is no refunds we won't do refunds because we can't take it back it's 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 a place where you can't take things back you can do exchange but they will not never give your money back where they sell replicas and they sell these type of uh clothing and stuff like that they'll never give you your money back i'm being straightforward so i hope you get that like but we always make sure that there's no damages on the stuff there's no um basically there's no damages they it's it's as good looking as possible right so we 100 percent on that and obviously we'll talk about if a, uh, a customer wants to return they can return it in certain address we'll, and then we'll, ref we'll exchange it for them everything will be on the site so come back to the site okay let's go back to um designing our site right cool so here in customer uh, testimonies that's what I put the free delivery you can put that find a better picture we'll also find a better picture for this I'm just doing it for now and then here it's contact us contact us I am going to so if you uh, about us sorry about us is basically if you want it if this is if you want it I don't want it right people don't hardly read these things trust me they just want to get to the bottom of things like what are you selling how do I buy uh, but you must have trust factors but again these are for drop shippers that want to make above 20 to 30 thousand uh, rands if you are just looking to just get seven thousand per month ten thousand you're just fine with this then this is the this is where to start right and then of course with contact us and then you just put in your details contact and everything else you are you can disable your address there's no need to put in your address if you're a drop shipper um you can just say online store here where it says address you can just say online store and then of course your email address be careful not to put a gmail address it does look dodgy put in your number and then we'll just add in how to get pop-ups you know and um how to add whatsapp what you can just do here is talk to us on whatsapp whatsapp is really good it does people do trust more of whatsapp getting to know who they're buying from but if you are doing uh, cash on delivery <clears throat> it's 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 way better because uh, there's a lot that's happening on the e-commerce world people are scamming people so people don't trust uh, online stores but you can test it out see how it works get a get people trust who you are how you sell and then you can send them there and you can drop ship i'll show you how to use this for marketing and starting to drop ship uh from what's this facebook marketplace to this but that like i said that's a video on on its own all i wanted to do is basically put you on this how to make a store in less than 45 minutes an hour less than an hour you can do this less than an hour and you would have your store ready to go you know what i mean all right let's refresh because i remember i took out that still not gone let's go here oh I didn't save if you don't save then it will keep on doing the same thing until you save you see this thing is not gone but it's gonna be gone soon because I've saved now see now it's gone boom it's gone 
and this is how my store looks like less than five minutes now that your store is up my next video that's coming up is going to be basically adding on um you know trust factors for your customers when they land on your page when they land on your website and they're like okay i can buy something from this website i trust this website so if they get here and um, they want to buy this hoodie because they saw it on facebook or instagram wherever the platform you'll be selling on they can just trust to actually buy from you and um, they can just add to cart when they add to cart when they go to check out what happens right when they go to check out there's a checkout button we're going to add something called pay fast registering for pay fast how do you get pay fast how can people buy online that is going to be my next video by the way i am constant I know I keep on saying this, but I'm going to be cons consistent, I promise you. So I'm dropping every Sunday, every Sunday I drop, and every Thursday I drop, Sunday and Thursday. Thank you so much. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them there. Another thing I'm going to have private on my YouTube channel, I'm going to have a private um, membership only, um, what, what am I called? A membership only you know uh, gang gang loyalty and you can get a badge there but there's also gonna be live um, live broadcasts and live things that I'm going to answer from YouTube itself so please do join in and um, be a subscriber I know you're already a subscriber if you don't want to do that it's fine uh, but yeah I want to have a, a, a partnership program coming up soon thank you so much guys good luck Tell me how do you follow this. If you have any other questions, leave them a comment below. You know me. I always answer. And I will see you guys soon.